been properly mobilized? We have started already. We are putting our uh, documents together and uh, seeking the appropriate approval from the appropriate authorities in order to continue. Airport closure isn't a common phenomenon in the world considering um, international best practice. And for you to have gone all the way to consider a closure of the strategic airport, uh, that only suggests a bad maintenance culture over the years. Uh, no, I don't agree with that. Uh, uh, this airport was operational, it was functional until the day we closed it. F flights were landing and taking off on, on, on this runway. In Kaduna we have two runways. In Lagos we have two runways. In Patakot we have two, run two runways. In Kano we have two, two runways. So when we closed, we closed Kano and we did the repairs in Kano some uh, seven years ago and it didn't uh, cause any, any serious issues because we have a runway just uh, some few meters from the runway that we are closing. Uh, in Kaduna, we closed the runway in uh, 2010. Uh, we did the repairs there. There was no problem because we had a second, another runway in, this, in town, in Kao. Uh, in Patakot, we closed the runway. We did the repairs. We, did, we didn't have any issues because there's a, a runway at the Air Force Base. In Lagos, we closed the two runways at alter alternately and we did the repairs and it didn't cause anything because we have another runway. In other countries also, they close their runways, but it doesn't cause anything because you are shifting to just some few. Uh, in London, for example, they have five runways. So if they close one runway and go to the other runway, it's, there is no problem. The last trip I made outside this country, I traveled to London to attend a meeting. Uh, on my way back, I had to go through Dubai the Dubai airport was closed and we landed in, a, in another runway which is a new runway that they are constructing but is ready for operation. We landed there. It didn't cause anything. So what we need is a close, a, a, an alternative runway that is very close to the existing runway so that we can always shift traffic if there's anything serious. Bearing in mind that this runway upgrade would have to pass through some certification process, how sure are you that this would have uh, a clean bill of health? I'm very confident because as uh, we speak, if you go to site, uh, we are working together with the uh, regulatory agency, that is the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. They are part and parcel of this vision team. So uh, anything, anything that they observe at all uh, is pointed out immediately and corrections are made. So it is not as if uh, we are working on our own and then uh, invite them later on to come and certify. No. From day one, in fact, even the program of works and the design of uh, the activities uh, was approved by them. The safety plan was approved by them. So anything that we do is pre-approved by them. So we are together with them so that we don't have to waste time when we finish. Nigeria is home to one of the worst airports in the world, the Port Harcourt Airport. What are you doing about this? It's, it's not true. Port Harcourt Airport is the worst. Uh, the, the, that assessment was done by a group called Sleeping at the Airports. And the airports are not hotels. So there are uh, 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 bases of assessing the airport, I don't know, because I've never met them. I've never seen what criteria they use in assessing our airport to be the worst airport. So uh, like I said, NCAA has the authority to assess any airport. And uh, of course, ICAO have some standards and this, our standards, the ACA standards are in compliance with ICAO standards. So nobody, no group can just come and say they are assessing an airport to be uh, the worst airport. You've been at the Port Harcourt Airport. That was quite an eyesore. The terminal building is under construction and uh, they have to go through the, especially the arrival. It's the arrival process that is, uh, yes, uh, they go through a tent and these tents are air conditioned, you know. So uh, it's, a, it's a construction uh, site. So. Uh, this is uh, what we could provide, and uh, uh, at the end of the day, you know, when we finish, uh, Patakot will go back to a normal building. Safety is not compromised at all. If safety is compromised, we close, just like we close Abuja. Anywhere there is safety the issues, we close and make sure that we bring back, we make sure that we adhere to the safety conditions. So, don't you feel there is a need for an emergency upgrade of the Patakot airport? Already, that's the, this administration immediately they came in, they approved the, uh, uh, the, the completion of the Patakot terminal building. There are two projects going on in Patakot. Uh, there's a, a, a big terminal, international terminal that is being constructed uh, through a loan from China, Exim, 
And then the uh, federal government also awarded a contract of rehabilitation of the, uh, the uh, existing terminal. So these two projects are going on and it's being funded properly. So uh, I don't have uh, any issues with that. Uh, we have to wait as soon as we finish. Uh, everybody will be comfortable. When is it going to be completed? Well, uh, for Takot Airport, by our program before the end of this year, it should be ready. Let's look at some of the innovations you've introduced so far. You talked about the departure and arrival cards. Tell us more about this. Uh, before this time, we had three types of forms uh, being filled uh, by arrival, depart uh, arriving and departing passengers. And uh, we uh, agreed uh, that uh, uh, there is need to simplify uh, travel uh, procedures at the airport. So we try to compress uh, this uh, arrival departure card into one uh, so that everybody will fill just one card, whether you are arriving or departing is the same card. So what uh, the immigration and all the other security agencies try to do is all the information that is required by all the agencies uh, at the airport are compressed into one card so that passengers do not have to fill several cards as they arrive or as they depart. So if you fill that one card, it will contain all the information that is required by arriving or departing uh, process. The Nigerian aviation sector is facing a deluge of problems from multiple taxation, high cost of doing business in the country, hike in aviation fuel. What is the rescue plan for the aviation sector? Uh, I, uh, uh, there is a rescue plan. Um, I know the uh, Honorable Minister has set up a committee to look at uh, uh, the ways of doing business, uh, especially the charges uh, in the aviation industry and these charges are supposed to be harmonized. Uh, it, it is not something that uh, one agency can come up and say, okay, like FAN, to come up and say, this is what I want to charge. These charges are being harmonized and our charges are approved by the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority anyway. But uh, the minister has set up a committee and I'm sure that committee has finished. They have submitted their report. So we are waiting for a decision on that and uh, I'm sure by the time that decision is implemented, uh, the charges would have been harmonized. You may also join in this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Coming up on Question Time, setting the record straight on Nigeria's aviation sector reforms. Find out from the Managing Director of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, Engineer Saleh Dunoma. Join us again.